And of course, AAA is also anticipating almost 48 million folks to travel 50 or more miles away from home for the big 4th of July weekend. So let's get ready for it. Let's talk about that forecast. Here we are right here. This is the Georgia Department of Transportation's five day forecast beginning tomorrow, and that is the heaviest of traffic. And don't underestimate it, folks. We're talking about noon till 8 o'clock at night. That's not just getting through the city. That's getting north on I-75 up towards Bartow County, where by the way, we have problems. I'll tell you about that in a moment. And on that south side ride now Saturday, well, maybe the procrastinators or the folks that didn't want to deal with the heavy traffic, they'll take to the roads, but it's still going to be pretty thick Sunday and Monday. Of course, 4th of July, you'll get a pretty easy ride Tuesday. That's the return trip. And again, don't underestimate that. In fact, let's get to my maps because I want to show you something that not only have I gotten stuck in before, but this is now a pattern coming back from major holidays. Tuesday, July 5th, all afternoon, we're talking delays from Locust Grove all the way through downtown Atlanta, and that's going to go all afternoon. Something that's really going to help us, GDOT suspending construction lane closures. That'll start tomorrow at noon, and that'll go until Tuesday, July 5th, until 10 p.m. That's really going to help the ride. Just remember to watch your speed in all those GDOT work zones as we take a live look. That's I-75 down in Locust Grove. On the right side of your screen, those are southbounders, and well, maybe they're all on the their way towards the beaches or central Florida. All right, let's give you a little bit of good news. The good news is gas prices are going down just before the holiday weekend. AAA says the national average price of a gallon of regular gas 486. Now, though that's down from a week ago, it's still over 20 cents more than the Memorial Day holiday weekend here in Georgia. The price has also dropped about eight cents in the last week. Our average is 436 per gallon, but again, still over 20 cents more than the last holiday weekend. And 